Colonization is closer to most Africans alive today than the Atlantic slave trade. It shaped our borders and still has an influence on many African countries, even though most nations have become independent. This idea may be difficult to even dream about, but what if people, things were reversed and Africa colonized Europe? What would the world look like today? That is what we'll discuss today on Africa Assembly. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like this video to help us make more content you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. This is by far the most ambitious video and so some information may seem off, but let's take a look at two parts to this. The first would be when it could have happened and the outcomes as a result. As Africans could not have colonized Europe during the Scramble of Africa period due to a lack of advanced weaponry and unity to push into Europe, there could have been other times throughout history. The most obvious time would have been during the Spanish flu. When people were succumbing to the pandemic that killed over 50 million people, the virus only really affected Africa in the second wave. While dealing with the pandemic, Europe would have a difficult time if they were invaded by a united Africa. Another possible time for invasion would have been around the first time Europe explored Africa in the 15th century. If the Africans that first came into contact with the Europeans somehow overpowered the Europeans and moved into Europe with the element of surprise, occupation could have happened. Or maybe in the 1300s during the Black Death when a third of Europe was wiped out. If Africans were able to evade the plague terrorizing Europe, Africans could have occupied Europe for a period of time. On the contrary, what would have made any form of colonization difficult would have been sub-Saharan African countries pushing past the Sahara Desert to the shores of North Africa. It would have taken years to travel across the desert and then weeks to sail across the Mediterranean before embarking on conquest and settling satellite stations in Europe before pushing upwards. So after all that, if Africa was able to colonize Europe during those time periods, what would have happened? Apart from influencing the culture of the pre-existing inhabitants, Africans would also have taken advantage of the less powerful nations. People of that era were completely different from the way we are today and slavery would have been implemented by Africans. Taking advantage of the resources of the land would have happened and some Europeans would have been taken to Africa. Another negative of this would be Europeans becoming vulnerable to new diseases due to isolation from contact with others. The religions would also be different from what it is today and English would not become a dominant language on earth. Because of many tribes and people in ancient Africa that existed before colonization, many areas of Europe would be colonized by different tribes, creating too many countries with varying influences. Africa as we know it today would not be divided up into 54 nations. The location of Europe would also have effects on the African bodies as the weather in Europe is different. As far as its effects on history, so many significant events based on the time of colonization would be altered or non-existent. The discovery of the Americas could have been altered. The Atlantic slave trade and even world wars would have looked completely different if they would have existed because the colonized nations would not have the opportunity to explore and would focus more of their time on seeking independence. The relationship between the African colonizers and Asia would also be different as Europe could have looked for aid from Asia. However, like everything in life, nothing lasts forever and eventually either the colonies would collapse due to infighting or the oppressed nations would eventually seek independence. Sometimes we can connect colonization to racism, but the truth is the scarcity of human rights and neglect for the well-being of others was a thing of the past. If somehow Africans were the first to occupy other European nations, circumstances could have been different, with Africans having to apologize for genocide of European people, or take responsibility and return certain artifacts back to Europe. And yes, Africans have invaded Europe in the past, and this was way back in the 8th century when the Moors from North Africa invaded Spain for about 8 years, occupying Spain for over 800 years. However, they were eventually ousted. During the occupation, the introduction of concepts like cuisine, hygiene, and fashion were passed on to the inhabitants of the land. Now we turn the question to you. What would Europe look like if we were colonized by Africa? What language would be spoken and how would the world have looked like today? Share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a video. Till then, brothers and sisters, have a nice day.